I have a production company. We um, produce films. So our most recent film is Push Out the Criminalization of Black Girls in School. Um, we got a, um, a NAACP nomination for that. We've won tons of awards, and we're currently working to partner with the NEA to get all teachers, three million of them, to actually see this film and um, to learn how they are going to deal with our girls when they come back to the classroom, um, which probably most likely will be in spring of 2021. You can go to um, pushoutfilm.com, pushoutfilm.com, and you could um, uh, see some clips of the film, see what more the film is about, uh, the girls that we um, featured in the film. Um, So we told the sort of what happens to black girls along the educational journey, right? So as young as seven years old and all the way through to 19 years old are the girls that are featured in the film. And telling their experiences from teacher bullying um, to uh, human trafficking um, to um, self-esteem issues that cause some of their behaviors um, to um, um, bullying, you know, kid bullying, Um, And what causes the trauma that we see in our black girls that don't get dealt with and then Mm -hmm. renders them almost invisible and then puts them into the criminal justice system? How did you get involved in that? Hmm? Why why was that something? Did you have a child in, in the system? How did that project come to you? No, you know, I did a film. The very first film I ever did was called Too Important to Fail, where we looked at um, dropout rates in high school and who were being impacted the most, black boys, why. And in the, the filming of that documentary, we discovered that girls in the macro – we're the fastest growing population into the juvenile system, and nobody was talking about it. And mm-hmm. then black girls disproportionate, right, um, which we know black everything is disproportionate. So black girls disproportionate into the system, black girls disproportionate in being expelled, black bo- girls disproportionate in suspension, black girls disproportionate in um, police um, arrests, black girls disproportionate in the juvenile system. And we wanted to examine that. At the time, we had already funding for four totally different kinds of films, so we couldn't address that, which was about eight years ago. Uh, So two years ago, we decided we were going to do it, that we felt the time was right. Um, We partnered with Monique uh, Morris, um, who is a wonderful woman who wrote the book, which is the name of the film. She wrote a book called um, Push Out the Criminalization of Black Girls in School, and we thought that is a perfect title for this film. Um, so we screened it all over the world. Um, like I said, we've won Best Documentaries at film festivals, both black and non-black film festivals. Um, It's been an amazing journey. You know, it's led to the creation of a bill um, with Ayanna uh, Presley, um, uh, the congresswoman from Boston, and the bill is titled by the name of the film, um, Ending Push-Out. It's the Ending Push-Out Act. Mm. Now, you you mentioned... Yeah, so it's been, you know, uh, so I always tell people that media is really powerful it's very influential and this one film how this one film is changing the trajectory of black girls all around the u.s this film is totally doing it i mean there's so much more i could tell you about it but those are like the really top top lines of it this one documentary um so filmmaking is powerful i've always known that i've always believed in the power of media i believe in like what you're doing karen um, this is important. This is where we get our information. This is where we get our knowledge. We have to be true to ourselves and make sure that we, we tell the truth, um, but we also be, have to be conscious about how we're telling the truth. And I say that in the Nick Cannon example, right? Sometimes we can have a little bit of information and then be dangerous with it, right, because we don't really have all the details, um, and sometimes the timing is not right for the conversation. You have to understand when the timing is right for a conversation, right? We are in a new era of, to me, blackness, uh, where black people have, like, mentally, we just made a change in this, in this Black Lives uh, Matter moment. 
in that we are we cannot now go back. We cannot now unravel what we know you know now, right? Before you want to fake like you didn't really know a lot of stuff, but now we know you know, right? Now we know you really know and you really see it and you really understand that it is things are wrong, right? We know that with all clarity. So as a collective group, we can't go back. And all of us are, wherever we're at, have to make, like, personal choices about what we do in those spaces. So in the med- as the med- president of the medical board, I decided I was going to make a statement, right? And when I told my executive committee I was going to make a statement, <laughs> it was crickets on the phone. And I said, don't worry, it's not going to be scary, but it's going to be very pointed, and we sent it out to the 141,000 doctors that are licensed in the state of California. We're the largest licensee of any state in the entire U.S. Um, and, uh, you know, it was, you know, there was 60% of the people that were like, um, keep your opinions to yourself, right? And it wasn't an opinion statement. It was a factual statement. Um, and then there were other people who were like, you know, I'm so glad you said something. What can we do? We, we really want to get involved and, and help, right? Um, it's also led to me, um, in a couple of weeks, I'll be uh, speaking at Stanford uh, University to all of their surgeons on race and wellness. Um, so it's, you know, so when we speak up, things will happen. So we need to speak up at work. My brother is... Um, a vice president at a um, uh, transportation, you know, like th- that that runs the satellites, that runs the the automated cars, and they're, mm-hmm. you know, they've got a handful of black folks uh, at the firm, but they rose up as a collective group and had a meeting with their CEO, and their CEO before they even met with them made a statement and said, "Black lives" in all caps at the beginning matter. Mm-hmm. Right. And so um, normally engineers are just, you know, they just do their engineer thing. They don't really get political or speak up on speak out on particular issues. But this is having effect all around the country in ways we can never even imagine. Right. We know our the obvious things that we see, the NAACP and um, color of change and stuff like that, um, and our congressional people. But there are things happening right in these little spaces that are making a difference. Mm. 866 I think, Lamont, you were trying to say something you wanted to ask? No, but, she, she, but then she, she eventually answered. answered it. But, but the other question is um, the partnership you mentioned with the NEA, the, that's teachers, you're trying to get it in front of teachers nationwide. Where, where are you on that? Because I think that's, a, that's an awesome idea. So where we are is we're going to work with, we're going to start off working with a couple cities first, um, to, and it'll be through the intranet, right, mm-hmm. um, where mm-hmm. they can go on and download. And then we have discussion guides where we really literally take you through several, you know, frames throughout the entire documentary um, and ways to have discussions about what you just saw. Right. So that's ways more, for students like to have discussion, that's, and then ways for the yeah. teachers to actually have discussion. Right. That's like a training. It's oh, it's totally a training. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, we got yeah. some additional funding to actually do reenactments. So, doing a reenactment mm-hmm. of how a teacher typically oh. is dealing with a child to then how they should be dealing with the child. Mm-hmm. Um, so mm-hmm. we'll be, well, you know, well now that you know the entertainment industry is still up in the air, but, um, you know, once we're able to uh, shoot, you know, um, we'll go back to, we'll go and start shooting, shooting these. 